usually on the never ending hunt to find or come up with the best low carb recipes. But lately I've been a little busy. So today I'm just a mom with a pack of chicken wondering what to do with it so I can move on to more important things like Netflix. I really should probably say family, but to be honest, it's Netflix. Today I have some easy keto chicken recipes that you can have ready in under 30 minutes. On top of that, you only need four base ingredients, plus some other seasonings. If you ever wonder why two or three or four ingredient recipes claim to have such a small amount of ingredients, but end up having more than that, I'm going to get into why that is a little bit later. First up is barbecue bacon chicken tenders. For these four ingredients, you're going to need chicken tenders, bacon, smoked paprika, barbecue sauce, salt, and pepper. See, four ingredients. Start by mixing the seasoning for the chicken. Add a teaspoon of each to a bowl, smoked paprika, salt, and then pepper. And let me explain why salt and pepper generally aren't counted as an ingredient when you see people making these two, three, four, or five ingredient recipes. It's because counting is hard, especially when you have to count to such high numbers. Wrap each tender with a piece of bacon. Then take out your favorite low carb barbecue sauce from the back of the fridge. This one is mine. It's by Lily's Q, but there's lots of other different brands out there you can use. And brush the barbecue sauce all over your bacon wrap tenders. These I'm gonna air fry at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes, but you could use the oven if you think that the air fryer is a waste of good counter space or just a glorified convection oven. I'll have those instructions on my website, ketofocus.com. These are kid approved, excellent dipped in ranch or more barbecue sauce, and dinner is ready in just 20 minutes with only four ingredients, because we don't count the salt and pepper. Let me explain to you the real reason why recipes with few ingredients always lie and have more ingredients. But first, let me answer that. Got my Green Chef box, who happens to be the sponsor of this video. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company who provides me with pre-portioned, easy to follow recipes that are delivered right to my door. What does this have to do with recipes with few ingredients not actually claiming the correct amount of ingredients going in them, specifically salt, pepper, oil, and water? That's because it's assumed that every kitchen has those basic pantry items, so you don't have to go to the store for them. On top of that, most of these ingredients are within arm's reach, like salt. So if you have that ingredient within your arm's reach of your cooking space, you can easily eyeball measure it and toss it into your bowl, then you don't have to count it as an ingredient. That's why I love Green Chef. Not only do they offer organic produce, quality proteins, and sustainably sourced seafood, but they give you the exact amount of ingredients you need for each recipe, so no measuring. Most of these meals are already prepped, so you don't have to do too much chopping. If you think about it, this chicken stir fry recipe isn't a seven ingredient recipe. It's actually two because pretty much everything I can just grab and add in, except for the bell pepper, I have to chop that. So nothing else counts. Use my code KETOFOCUS60 to get 60% off your first box plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. They have delicious choices for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Plus there are meals that fit every lifestyle like keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. So you can easily hit your wellness goals and save time because all the meal planning and prepping is done for you. Once again, go to greenchef.com and use my code KETOFOCUS60 to get 60% off plus free shipping on your first box. See how easy that was to make a two ingredient chicken recipe? Now on to a four ingredient chicken recipe, which is a Caesar chicken. Start by coating skinless boneless chicken thighs with a breading made from one cup of grated Parmesan cheese, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Then coat each piece of chicken with this mixture. Once it's coated, add your chicken in a single layer to a large baking dish that you've sprayed with cooking spray first. For the sauce, you're gonna add in one cup of Caesar dressing and a third cup of sour cream. 
If you don't want to buy bottled dressing, you can make your own. I do have an amazing Caesar dressing recipe on my website, ketofocus.com, but then it kind of defeats the whole purpose of this because you're trying to make a quick minimal ingredient meal. After you pour this sauce all over your chicken, finish with a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese and bake at 375 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. To get a nice crispy topping, you're gonna finish the chicken under the broiler on high for one to two minutes, but watch it so it doesn't burn. The sauce from the Caesar dressing and the sour cream keeps the chicken juicy and adds a unique flavor that is excellent over cauliflower rice. Next is a recipe for blackened chicken. And apparently that doesn't mean that it's burnt overcooked chicken. It gets that blackened or charred appearance from the spice blend that darkens as it cooks over high heat. In that spice blend, you're gonna add four teaspoons of smoked paprika, a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon each of ground cumin, dried thyme, onion powder, and black pepper. Then you'll also need a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Okay, so maybe this isn't a four ingredient recipe but you can call it one if you made this spice blend ahead of time. Then it actually becomes a two ingredient recipe. You just need the chicken and the spice blend. I like using chicken breast for this recipe, but thighs will work too. You do wanna go full butterfly on this chicken and slice it all the way through the middle to get two pieces. This will just help it to cook evenly. Pat dry your halved chicken breasts and spray with cooking oil on each side. Then coat each slice of chicken with the spice mix. While you've been doing all that, you should be heating a stainless steel or a cast iron pan over high heat. You want this thing piping hot, but do not add oil. Never ever add the oil because it's gonna start a fire. Well, it might start a fire. Not that I speak from experience, although there was a period in my home cooking career where I did start a yearly fire, and then that prompted my brother-in-law, who's a firefighter, to give me a fire extinguisher for Christmas. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a Sephora gift card. Add your chicken to the hot skillet and cook for one minute. Then flip it and cook for another minute on the other side. Next, transfer this to a foil lined baking tray and bake at 350 degrees for five to eight minutes or just until the internal temperature of your chicken is 160 degrees. It's key to check the temperature of your chicken if you want juicy chicken. Otherwise, people are really just gonna think that blackened chicken is burnt chicken. Don't let it overcook because that's how misinformation spreads. That blackened chicken is really just a fancy way of saying, hey, I screwed up and burnt your chicken. Here's dinner. If you cook your chicken perfectly, it'll be so juicy and flavorful from those bloomed spices. And if you wanna see what other things you can make with minimal ingredients like cookies or even bread, just click right here because I show you.